Hello everybody and welcome back to Film is Life, your number one source for everything film, entertainment, news, reviews, and more. I am Lilton. I'm Simone. I'm Lance. And today we are going to be checking out the official number one trailer for High Rise. Um, I've heard a little bit about this. It's kind of been in the background. Um, there was a couple of previous trailers that I didn't see. So maybe they're actually now trying to put out like an official trailer for everybody to see. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what uh, we think of High Rise. For all its inconveniences, Lang was satisfied with life Loki, in the High Rise. Loki. <laughs> Ready to move forward and explore life. How he had not yet decided. I thought you were empty. I just moved in. You're an excellent specimen. Hmm. You don't know how things work around here, do you? I'm a fast learner. Which floor are you? Uh, 25. We are down in the bottom in all sorts of shadows. Most families are. We pay the same charges as the top floors. We want our fair share of the power. Things would be better if we could afford to move to a higher floor. If you lower people, overload the system, there'll be power cuts. How's the high life? Prone to fits of mania, narcissism, and power failure. Mm. You built all this. I put all my energies into this town. Is that a horse? Probably. On the 40th floor. Your husband appears intent on colonizing the sky. Who can blame him? When you look at what's going on down at street level. <laughs> I think we should be prepared to meet moderate resistance. Perhaps you're right. What are you doing? What are you doing in there? Teething problem. The building's still settling. Does it seem odd that a man can fall from the 39th floor? Whoa. And not one police car turn up? Sirens. What have you got there? A kaleidoscope. What can you see through that thing? No. The future. <sighs> I'm so. I was kind of confused what was going on. Okay, so are, do you are you confused about what's going on too? Tad bit. All right, so I think I understand this a little bit. So let me kind of hopefully iterate. And if I'm wrong, please correct me. It looks like that the high rise is this building that um, a bunch of residents live in, uh, from the first floor all the way up to the highest floor. Highest floor being the richest people, bottom floor being the poorest people. But it looks like everything that anybody ever needs is in that building stores jobs mm -hmm. everything fun things they want to do like nobody leaves type of mentality okay. and it seems like that you know maybe he's a new resident you know he's starting work there and he's kind of starting to see things that are you know kind of plaguing this building or whatever for a long time and it's probably kind of like the the middle playing field of what shakes everything up Mm -hmm. um, it also has Luke Evans in it, which is a really um, good actor. He was in the movie I, I think me and you really liked, Dracula, uh, Untold. Yes. Um, and you know he's also was um, he played what was it Zeus and Immortals? Yeah, he with, did. With Henry yeah. Henry Cavill, Superman. Yes. yes, Superman, Man of Steel. Yes, Man of Steel, greatest movie ever. And it looks like he has a lot to play in this too. Um, I'm really intrigued by it. It looks very like Stanley Kubrickish almost. Like there's a, a kind of like weird artsy feel to it. Like not something that's you know really mainstream. So I don't know how well this will fly over. Um, I'm gonna say I, I would buy a ticket for it. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably rent it. Rent it. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm in the middle, so. I'll just say, buy a morning ticket. <laughs> <laughs> buy a morning ticket on a Monday after the first weekend. Save me some bucks in case I don't like it. You're absolutely <laughs> right. But it's got, 
It's got Tom Hiddleston. I don't care who Loki. it has. Loki. Loki. He is going to always Loki. be Loki. Loki. To it's me. got Luke Evans. He does not look right. It's got not Jeremy Irons. as Loki. He looks weird with his shirt off, pretending to be this guy in this high rise who's just, I don't know, mingling or something. It's weird to me. He's Loki. Tom Hiddleston, we're sorry that we can't get past Loki. We know you're <laughs> way more talented than Loki and that you can do more things. But this is what happens when you do a really good job at the best villain in Marvel Cinematic Universe. He is Loki. Chris Hemsworth is Thor. Yeah, Robert Chris Downey Evans is uh, Captain America. Right. Yes. Robert Downey is Iron Man. These You are guys have facts. no lives. These are facts, right? This is you who you're going to be. will forever be these forever. characters. So we got a buy a ticket, we got to rent it, and we got an early morning. She kind of just created that. That's not yes, even I one did. of the. <laughs> That's not even one of the options. I mean, if you go back and you watch the first two episodes, it's buy a ticket, it's rent it, or it's forget it. Not buy a ticket, buy an early morning $5 ticket on a Monday, rent it, and forget it. But we let her do what she wants to do because she's the only lady on the show right now who is, you know, pretty much running things. So we for let right her do what now. she wants. Yeah, for right now. Till Lance takes over. So I take over. Yeah. So, but that ain't, would mean he would be a lady. Ain't no hookers coming on this show. Not everybody knows, you know. <laughs> the hookers shall raid film his life film the his hookers life. shall be on film his life no no hookers allowed all hookers allowed on film his life he in trouble now and that'll do it for us three two one <laughs>